In today's episode, can we continue the push against Ellis and maybe take them out before turning our heads to the Antigonid menace in the east of the Peloponnese? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum. Last time we attacked Ellis down in the south and finally we managed to get through this quagmire of troops over here. I think we'll have to turn around though and take out these Elian armies once we've taken out Delphoi. But that should be the end of the Aetolian League once Delphoi is dead. We've also taken Olympia, which has allowed me in between episodes, guys, to go and adjust all the tax rates across the nation. But honestly, like looking at these regions, we really do need to start having a look at maybe improving the fertility. Look how many are on 0% growth or 0.5% growth on low taxes as well. Like most of them are incredibly low in terms of their growth and very poor as well. So yeah, we need to we need to have a look. We've also got big Ipaceon, I think. The ugly 16-year-old man who frightens children whenever he enters the room because he is that ugly. Uh, ready to uh, ready to go down south too. So I can't wait until we have another couple of armies down here. I mean, we've got two already, but I think we are at the end turn, guys. So let's end the turn there. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. And looking up north, I think we might just attack the Dentalate. Because they're not very strong, are they, looking at what they have? You know, they are Thracians, remember, so decent rosters. And then we might go for Sir Dicker and then potentially go after the Maidy. The thing is, if I take Sir Dicker, it doesn't really matter because we already border both the Trabali and the Adrissians, so they already have an excuse to attack us anyway. So by attacking Sir Dicker, I know it's only a town, but uh, should be fine. Anyway, we've got decent garrison up here as well, which we can actually use uh, if we want to put some garrisons in. Um, and we are building more garrisons in Bylazora as well, which is very nice. So let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. Well, Ellis, I think you're going to have to pay us a lot more money than that to have a ceasefire with us. So goodbye, my friends. Get lost. And the Gete have been destroyed. Wow. Hellenic courage in battle has played its part in laying low these people. Rivals who need trouble us no more. Well, definitely because it's the Pontic Pentapolis that has taken them out. So, geez, they have died. Normally, they're the powerhouse in that region. So, let's get Ipazion's army together. So, now we need two, potentially two. You go in there. We need... Two of the Thuriophoroi, and then four of the Athamanians, and this army will then be done. Anyone, can they, can you recruit Athamanians in any of these places? No, we cannot. That's a little bit annoying. I should probably go up to the missile range, because I'm assuming we can for level three. Yep. Yeah. So let's pop in the missile range there. What about in here? We're getting the Thuriophoroi. Over here, can we get the Athamanians here? No, we can get you Zonoi and stuff. But yeah, we're getting the Thuriophoroi there. So, I think keep going with the Thessalians here. Ambrachia too. Let's get the Athamanians. That'll be good. And then uh, this army will be pretty much ready to go. So, two more turns and we'll have uh, Athamanian from here and Athamanian from Ambrachia and two Thuriophoroi. That's fine. We'll be able to leave then and go and fight. So I don't mind leaving this army for a little bit. We could, in fact, just go after someone. Where could we go, though? I don't... The problem is I don't want to have to fight those full stacks with this army because even though it's relatively powerful, I think we'll probably lose if we do come up against anything that's a little bit scary. So, yeah, two turns. I don't mind waiting two turns for them. I don't think it'll slow us down too much at all. But let's have a look at our notifications. We've got another candidate for adoption. He's kind and optimistic, smart, uncharismatic, uh, learning bureaucrat, well-supplied, unreliable, and he's an Epirote. 
He is blooded as well. Not completed, apparently. That's fine. I don't mind. He wasn't the best candidate ever either. Antigonids and Maidy are, you know, having a little bit of a cease of fire. We've got some new family members. Good. Very good indeed. Fenike got more Ambrachio. So, yeah, we are basically on the road to another army as well, which we can afford. And we are expanding at a decent rate now. So, uh, yeah, we can keep on just training more and more troops. Uh, Thermon got the level of recruitment three level three recruitment let's have a look at what we could get from thermon then that we are not getting right now itolian cavalry what is that is that worth it they are a decent cavalry unit but they are not quite the thessalian so really doesn't matter too much but we can get the itolian hoplites which are not that good the Itolian 304A, also not that good. So is there any AOR here that's really worth it? Over just getting Ambrachiotes by going level 4? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I don't think it's that worth it at all. So, um, yeah. Thermon is just recruiting garrison troops as of now. But we could expand the uh, barracks and all that sort of thing. Ready for when we want to get up to level 4 here. So let's do that for now. Um, right. Was there anything else interesting on the construction? Let's have a look. Not really. Apart from Abdera getting just the standard roads. Uh, no, that's not that important. Amphipolis got some extra growth. Could go for that dockyard. I wonder how much money would make. Yeah, that, look at that. How much is it? 12,000? I still think that's 100% worth it. Let's build that in there. We need to expand this area in terms of the port capability here to really get some extra money because we don't have that many ports that make a lot of trade like down here on the coast uh, of Epirus. These ports are not trading a huge amount. We also did get all our ships together. Good. Let's put them all together into one old navy. And I think we go for another. I think we go for another round of ships, don't we? I think that's the play. Let's go ships. Not in Baraki, you're training troops here. And we'll have a big navy then, which should scare off anyone else. Or you're not doing that. Uh, you guys. And then here too. That should be good. Uh, we've also got these ships here. So you guys get in there. There we go. A pretty darn big navy now. I know it's not a very powerful one, but it's still a pretty big one, uh, which is good. These haven't repaired yet, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, fantastic. We've done a lot of our management there. So let's get into the sieges here. We've got this one. I think, honestly, let's auto-resolve this. I don't think it'll be much. Yeah, 54. We didn't need to take too much out of that. Let's enslave Megalopolis as well. Now, Epirus just has Ellis left and Tegea. So, not much left for them. Let's have a look over here. Could we escape with one troop? Yes, we could if we go down to low. That's no problem. So, you guys get in there. And can we now leave with these boys? Probably Yes, we can. Fantastic. Let's also destroy that. Get some extra cash. Have a look what's in here. We've got the third level of Temple of Artemis. That's okay, but it's not amazing. And we shall go straight for Tegea. Thing is, after this, after this siege, I am definitely going to send Alexander's army back for retraining. Let's sort it. What are we missing here? We've got two spots. Ah, two Thurioforoi. So, yes, we need some extra Thurio 4 Roy here too. Is there anywhere that's a little bit worse that can get Thurio 4 Roy? Like, you guys. Let's get some Thurio 4 Roy from you guys. And that's about it. I don't think we can get any in Igeon or anything. Olympia. Where were we building that at? Yeah, we were building it there, but it's, it's not going to be ready soon. So, I mean, Thermon could be the option. So, potentially, yeah, let's get the Thurio 4. What's the difference between the Aetolian and ours? Ours is just better. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get the standard Thurio 4. Right, let's put an end to the Aetolians. They uh, only have a few troops. One Thurio 4, two Hoplites, and a general. What's his name? Kratipus. 
I thought it was crappy crappitus. <laughs> crappitus with a brand new army here, guys, as well. It's a bit of a messy army. It's not exactly put together incredibly well. But it's still a very strong army, isn't it, my friends? The Salian cavalry ready to go. Thurio Foroi. So let's get on to the battle map. Should be nice and easy. Well, this is a stunning battle map, guys. Look at this in the snow. What a beautiful battle map. What a beautiful, beautiful battle map. Uh, but I just wanted to, uh, before we get into the fight... Oh, look at the Ambarakios looking amazing there, aren't they? just wanted to show you the Thessalians over here. Because I don't actually think we've seen them on the battle map for ourselves yet. We've seen them for, of course, the Antigonids. But look at them. What beastly boys. Very nice indeed. That helm is amazing. Look at that. Really nice units. Fantastic. What a glorious unit. And I'm so glad that we can use them now. So I'm pretty much going to try and reserve the Phalangites and the Thessalians. So we're going to try and do this whole battle just with the Thurio Foroi, the general, and the missile troops, if possible. They've done quite a good job of, uh, you know, blocking the way here. So hopefully we can just try and power through them this way. Uh, once they've once this Thurio Four has used its last javis, let's go. We'll charge in there now. You guys can use your javis and then potentially charge in too. So there we go. In through the gates, boys. In through the gates. I've saved the javelins of this guy. There we go. Are you going to fire? There we go. Okay, they're running away. That's fantastic for us. So let's get in there. Let's also get Pyrrhus. In there too. Let's also get you guys through this way. And potentially... I mean, it's it's most of the unit there, isn't it? The Athamanians then, you guys can go back. What I'm thinking of doing is just getting the archers there just to fire into the back of them. And uh, you guys, if you guys go here, ready to just fire. And then we'll do a couple of charges with the old general. Um, they do have their general, of course, Mr. Crapitus. <laughs> and they've got their Thurio Foroi too. So I do want to save some of my missile men. Oh, here they go. Here they go. The hoplite's going in for the charge here. We should be able to beat that guy quite easily, though. Uh, this Thurio Foroi will leave them here for now. Um, yeah, archers, we don't really need you for now. Uh, where do we want you to go, maybe, archers? Well, for now, we'll send this archer and this Thurio Foroi around this way. Looks like the Thurio Foroi are going to take the... The majority of the beating. I can't wait until we get the Molossian Agama and all that sort of thing. Because then we can replace the Rio Foro with an actual good unit. Uh, but unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have a big enough city anywhere to do that. Which is a little bit annoying. But it's okay. Right, those guys there. These Athamanians here too. And it's just going to be a bit of a grind fest, I think. Until, you know, this unit's dead. And then we can surround the Aetolian Hoplites here. Well, here comes their general, so I think it may actually be pertinent now to try and get some uh, hopla, uh, some phalangites in. This unit, this poor unit of Thurio 4 has just been shredded by the Aetolians there. Where the hell? Oh my god, no, not the archers. <laughs> ah, I left the archers over here to deal with the Thurio 4, right? And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they're they dead. <laughs> well, I think the thing is, though, what we're going to do with these armies is... As the Thurio Foroi get destroyed each time, we, we can't afford to, uh, you know, protect them, anything like that. So what we're going to do is, you know, use them as garrison troops. And then, later down the line, we'll just rec recruit whatever mercenaries are available for that. Uh, right, you guys can now fire, definitely. Please fire. Fire into the Greek General's bodyguard. These guys are going to rout. No oh dear. Right, well, it looks like we do need to use some uh, some phalangites here. Let's get in. Let's get in, guys. Just get in there. I don't know where you'll fit, but it'll be fine. Finally getting some javelins across there. You guys are broken, you fools. You guys get here, ready to get into that side. Go, 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 guys. Go. Wow, the Thurio Foroi doing an absolutely awful, awful job. Terrible. These guys, 84, yeah, you can see just on very hard, like, even with their worst, their, their Aetolian hoplites are not good troops. Like, they're not good at all. Right, let's get away. I don't want to fight their general. 
You guys get your phalanx down. You guys get your phalanx that way as well. So we're just going to run away. <laughs> <laughs> and see what happens. I mean, he's going to then charge these guys. So it's going to be an unmitigated disaster, pretty much. Oh, we've got missile troops here. So we'll come outside the city because they won't uh, they won't actually do anything inside the city. Right, guys. Now get in. Now we'll surround them. And that'll be a lot better. These Athamanians, I'll probably get them in too. Get outside the city. There we go. You guys should be able to fire now. Yeah, there we go. Now he's turning around. So let's do that. You guys, I want you to turn that way, please. Athamanians, fight them. There we go. Kill them. So you guys turn this way. There we go. That's better. Phalangites. Phalangites come in to save the day. And they've hardly lost any men as well. One man they've lost, which is great for us. Can we get in there now? That'd be good. Oh, dear. Well... Bit of a disaster, but it's not too bad. These guys are broken now. Good. So we'll charge them with the Athamanians. We'll start marching along this way. See if we can take out the general's bodyguard. Or are they going to turn around? That's the thing. They might turn around. But yeah, bit of a disaster really. But not too bad, you know. It's not awful, but it's not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, what we should probably do is try and get one of these Athamanians in there. Probably not going to be able... Okay, guys, do you want to charge, maybe? That would be good. And let's keep coming. There we go. Halt. They're going to charge us. They're going to charge. There we go. Yes! <laughs> That's what we like to see. So let's get in the back of them. Why are you in such a long formation, guys? Like, actually bite them, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that is awful. That is one hell of a uh, what a hell of a charge by the general. We lost like no men and pretty much just killed them all. Glorious, glorious. These guys are now shaken. So it was a bit of an unmitigated disaster, but it's nothing that we can't live with. Uh, but I think the you know the AI did a good job to be fair of uh, of fighting us back. So yeah, let's speed this up. So here we are on the town square, guys. The final battle. And what we're going to try and do is use our hoplites, sorry, hoplites, phalangites to push them off the town square like so. And let's see whether we can do that. It should be nice and easy. And they should die pretty quickly because they're going to be fully surrounded by our units, which should be very, very good indeed, my friends. So get there, guys. Let's put you down on the phalanx. And let's push you off this town square and hopefully route them there. That'd be glorious. Let's go. Keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Push. Yeah, look at them push. There we go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. If anything, we're just going to kill them all then, it seems. Which is fine. I would rather have, uh, you know, push them off the square and got them to rout. But it looks like, at the moment, we can push them pretty darn well. <laughs> look at that. Absolutely squished them there. The, uh, the Phalangite Sandwich is a pretty darn brutal weapon. <laughs> But yeah, oh my god. One of the worst sieges we've done for a while. But nonetheless, we still did win, didn't we, guys? And like I say, the Thurio Foroi, they're not that useful to us. So what we're going to keep doing is using them as garrisons when they're down low. And then just recruiting mercenaries that will fill their gaps as, you know, flanking units. So glorious. Let's get off the campaign battle. battle campaign mapadu. And uh, I think with Delphoi... We'll probably just occupy. I don't see the need to do anything else there. But there we go. Itolian League fully destroyed. Very nice indeed. What do we want to do here, though? That's the question now with this army. I think the best thing to do is to go after these alien armies here. But the goddamn Athenians are just blocking the way. <laughs> Oh, Athens is just a menace. Athens is a fucking menace in this campaign. <laughs> they just randomly just invade everyone. They just walk in the worst places, just stand in areas, giving them devastation. Like, they are just an absolute menace. They they woke up and chose violence in this campaign. And not for go much good reason, really, either. So, <laughs> I don't know. We kind of stand there. Let's just kill them. Let's just kill them as well. 
Let's pop into now Pactos. Sorry, Delfoy here with these guys. That's just enough to keep them standing uh, and happy. Let's go straight for the Shrine to Dionysus then for that 10% happiness. And with you, we want to go and attack Ellis. But uh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we could go and kill them. I think we do, but I think we'll just auto-resolve that. No point fighting. 132. Not too bad. Now, we are in the thick of it here around a lot of Antigonid armies. But honestly, it's not that many armies, guys. Five, pretty much five or six full stacks. I know that sounds like a lot, <laughs> but from where we've been previously, it is not a lot. Um, honestly, these guys are going to become rebel when Ellis dies. So we can just leave them to become rebel and then we'll have to kind of make our way back through past goddamn Athens. <laughs> Oh, Athens, Athens, Athens. What what chose you this path? Why did you choose this path? <laughs> what idiots, man. Oh, my God. Hor horrible, horrible, horrible bastards they are, the Athenians. Um, yeah, absolute bastards, honestly. Honestly, not very happy with them at all. And we are trading with... Oh, yeah, we're neutral with, uh, with them at the minute. Well, because we are neutral with them where is Athens is even cities I don't even know where they where they are in terms of their cities <laughs> let's go and stand here for now and hope that Athens moves that way so then we can go and attack Ellis will come through and attack these armies and leave the Antigonids be for a couple more turns not for much longer guys but I would like to have this army ready to go by that time right for Nike over here Let's definitely start looking at getting some more population growth because we've not really focused on it at all. So let's go for that. Kikiros, same thing here. Could go for the grain import, so it's very expensive. So let's go for the... Uh, I mean, Kikiros is actually okay for population growth, but not fantastic. Um so I think, yeah, grain imports is going to have to be the one. Oricon over here, we're still we're going to have to go for farming as well. It's on minus half a percent there. We'll leave Thebi Pathiotides. Demetrias will go for the public baths. And Tricker will leave that one. Iginion, again, will also go for the public baths. And that is all our money, guys. Now, we do have you to move, though. And we've got a decision to make. What do we do? Do we go after the Dental Arte or do we simply go after the Maidy? Either way, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's not hugely important. But yeah, I think the Dental Arte, to be honest, will go around this way and hope. Yep, they are a neutral faction. We'll go around this way and we will hope. That they... Which alliance? The Tribali, apparently. Well, once the Dental Arte are dead, we'll try re-up the alliance with the Tribali. But honestly, in the north, there's one person that we need to worry about. And that is, in fact, the Adrissians. They seem to be having a rather good time um, fighting all the rest of the Thracians. So we will worry about those guys. If we can take out Maidy as well uh, after the Dental Arte, that should be pretty darn good. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And yeah, we can't do this battle, can we? Nope. So let's end the turn there, guys. Should be nice and quick. What is it with the AI and incredibly dumb moves? Like, <laughs> so instead of defending their only city, the, uh, the Dental Arte have just decided to siege us down at uh, Bylazora. Silly, silly people. Olympia is a little bit upset right now. That's okay. Do we have anyone else to maybe fill the gap? You guys. No, still, still only 60% there. We need to get these uh, garrison troops out of Thermon, ideally. But, uh, yeah. Uh, settlement besieged by the Denvalate. We'll accept this. Yeah, again, adoption not completed. I don't know why. Uh, am I Thion over here? He has just grown of age. Let's have a look. Bright, magnetic, and vigorous. He is selfish and optimistic. Feeling poorly, which is not good. Um, but yeah, powerful family as well. But I think he is definitely a governor rather than anything else. Have we? Are we governing all of these regions? Yes, we are. Anywhere around here that's quite rich as well. 
Cyrus is 1,900. That's not too bad. But here come the Seleucids, guys. So we do need to worry about those. So we might have to send this army up north, unfortunately. But that's not a problem. So we can leave the Athamanians in Pella then. Uh, which will be fine. Right. Yes. What were we looking at? We were looking at moving Amytheon wherever the hell he is. He's here. So, Cirrus, I think that's the, the play for you. Let's get you in there. Very good indeed. And, yeah. Allies, ceasefires with Bactria and the Seleucids. Okay. Looks like they've chosen us as a next target then. Anything else in here that's of real interest? No, not too much. And we've got 60,000 gold this turn. And Athens did move. There we go. And that's allowed us to move again. Let's auto-resolve that. And let's come down here. And then we've got that battle to do, which we'll do. Finally, we kind of have a clear ish. Oh my god, 30%. 65% unrest. Oh, oh, oh. That's a spicy meatball, my friends. A very spicy meatball. Jesus Christ. Well, that's not ideal, is it, my guys? That is not ideal. Same thing with Olympia being upset with us. That's really not ideal. Um, you know, the garrisons in here are not exactly fantastic either. Um, yeah. I mean, we could do this. This will probably be the best option for us. Let's go. There we go. 70%. That's okay. We'll come back here too. And we've got a couple of battles to do. So do we go for Pautolina first? I think I'm just going to auto-resolve that. 450. Oof. Wow. Well, Dentalate are dead now. That's good. But that was a bit crazy. 450 men killed. Well, it's not too bad. What we can do is just go south down to Pella. And just retrain there. So it doesn't really matter. It's just going to cost us a little bit of cash, isn't it? And we can... Oh, not quite reach Pella. But let's go. And let's also try and put you in there. And how bad is the public order? Not too bad, honestly. Like, if we put you in as well, that's probably enough. And it looks like we've got a lot of rebels in these lands as well that we need to deal with. I think that's a den the Dental Arte one. We've also got this rebel here that we need to deal with at some point. But I don't think the devastation is that bad. 34 devastation. That's not bad at all. How about in uh, by the Zora? No devastation at all. There's not even any uh, corruption there, which is crazy. I thought there would be, would be corruption. Fabulously wealthy for Ifestionas. Oh, how you have risen, my friend. You were simply a captain not long ago down in the south. And now you have risen to become one of our greatest generals. Very nice indeed. 100% think that Seleucids will attack us here. I mean, why else would they be standing there with pretty much a full stack? Let's have a look at this region, though. Is this region got mining? It doesn't look like it. What's the temple here? We've got a temple to Nike, which is not really the best temple we could go for. So let's get rid of that. And instead, let's build the Temple of Dionysus. And it's going to be down below 70% for a turn or two, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. All of these areas are still training, right? I think all our training is synced up at this point, which is pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. If the Seleucids do attack us, then Mr. Ipizion the Ugly will be going north, guys. Will be going north to deal with them. And yeah, I mean, I'm happy taking out these areas. I just don't want to go across. And then there's, there's Athens. We could actually probably take out Athens as well. Oh, look. They've got another army here too. I mean, these islands are useless to us. So I don't mind if they want to attack. I just don't want to be attacked by both the Seleucids and the Ptolemies. And as we've seen with this campaign, guys, like no fucker in the whole world wants to be our friend. Like literally no one. Every fucker hates us. So uh, yeah. Right. We'll go and attack these armies. Oh my God. Ellis, what are you doing, man? That's not an army. That's what I call failure, my friends. What the hell? Oh, Sparta are our allies. Okay, that's that's fine. Sparta's come to join us, man. Come on, the boys. Yes, they got some Skiritai, some Hoplites. 
Well, I'm going to leave Sparta to go and do the initial engagement because uh, we might as well try and get that Spartan army killed because it's just stood there in the way anyway. So we'll leave them to go and deal with them and then we shall go after them ourselves. Well, while we're marching towards the main army, we might as well go and kill the general's bodyguard. Should be nice and quick and pretty easy. Lost a couple of the Thessalians there, but it's not too bad. And now they are fighting to the death. There we go. Fantastic. Nice and easy. There we go. And there they go, the Spartans going to try and attack them. Go on, the Spartan boys. Here we go. The Spartans are getting into the fight now, which is nice to see. And we're just going to keep coming forward. Uh, and sticking our phalanx down in a second. So let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go forward. And the phalanx should come down now as well. We'll get you guys further forward too. And then we're going to get our cavalry all the way around the flank because the rest of this is just missile troops. So, yeah, it's pretty darn useless. And they're just going to keep retreating. That's the problem for our phalangites is they're not really going to do anything. So let's go. That's Thurio Foroy. You guys get in the fight here. And just fight. Let the Spartans do most of the heavy lifting here. Uh, you guys, why are you on fire? We don't need fire, do we? Right, Cav. There's only one thing for it. Time to just charge the whole way through these fucking idiots. Let's go. Here we go. Let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep coming. You guys keep coming. Just get in there. Don't let them time to escape the goddamn Peltas. Absolute bastards. I hate them. There we go. We touched them and then they ran. There we go. Nice and quick. Right then. General, you can charge them down while we go with the rest of these guys. Let's go. And the problem is they are right next to the map, the, the edge of the map. So killing these guys is going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, but you guys keep coming this way. So like you go through them. There we go. Now attack them. That would be great. That should be better. There we go. Guys, can you go, maybe? Or one of these Greek archers just sticking in the fight. Fools, 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 fools everywhere. Fools everywhere. One of you should be good for that. So three of you, let's go. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep, uh, keep adjusting it based on chasing them down. There we go, guys. There we go. Nice and easy. Should not be too much longer now. There we go. So you three, you two. Let's get in here now. And they're probably going to start withdrawing. Apparently not. Apparently they don't want to withdraw. That's that's fine by me. All of those guys are routing now. Interesting. Come on, guys. Like, can you chase them down properly for once, or just are you just going to do nothing? <laughs> Come on, get after them, you've goddamn idiots. Right, let's go. Right there we go. So easy. Um, but yeah, we need to try and make sure that we chase down as many men as possible. Go, 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 go. And I don't think we're going to have done that. 25% still, which is just a bit annoying. Like, why are you just stood there? Like, you're supposed to be chasing them down, you goddamn fools. You absolute lunatics. Like, what are you doing, man? Chase these idiots down. Chase them down. Go, go, go. Go. Go! <laughs> Go, man! <laughs> Says 15% now, but I'm not 100% certain on that, because that includes the first army that we killed, which was the general, of course. So you guys get there. You guys now after them. And yeah, should be a glorious victory here, my friends. Not much longer to go. Kill them, we might as well. And this unit as well. There we go. Nice and simple. Nice and quick. Very good indeed. Oh, that should be 53 men left. That should definitely be enough to have killed. Well done, Sparta. Thanks for coming to help us out. I wish you would have died as well, but unfortunately you didn't. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Oh, and that has made things so much easier in the gap here. That's amazing. That is actually so, so much better. Um, well, what do we want to do here, though? That's the question. Athens is still just blocking blocking everything, really. Which is great. Thanks, Athens. I, I love to see that, my friends. Um, but yeah, now we can actually move around this region a lot better. Um, so we've got Megalopolis, we've got Sparta, and we've got the Antigonids, of course. We've got two full stacks back-to-back -back there, which is a little bit scary. 
Um, well, what do we want to do then with this army? I mean, it's plenty strong enough to carry on. The Thurio Foroi are screwed, but apart from that, it's pretty darn good. We can't go through that way because of goddamn Athens. Um, so yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll go and attack that unit. And then we'll see what the uh, what the Antigonids do. Oh, they've got a they've got a unit card missing now. I hope that doesn't crash the game. Um, but yeah, we'll see what they want to do. We'll also see what the uh, Seleucids want to do, of course, as well. You guys are going pellet. I don't think there's anything else for us to do now apart from building, which we've got sixty five thousand gold for, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll just go through. All of the different areas. Korkira does have a little bit of population growth. Not an amazing amount, but a little bit. So I think still worth getting those grain imports. Kikiros has 1% growth, so that's good. Let's get the academy there so we can get some better traits for our general. Over here in Ferai, which is a, um, a recruitment hub. Let's get the missile range so we can get Athamanians there. Thebi Pathetides is pretty useless. Let's go for the grain imports though as well. The problem with the grain imports is it's a one-turn build. So let's go for the Temple of Dionysus instead. Uh, and the problem with the one-turn build is you have to build again the next turn, guys, in the same city, which we don't really want to do. Dion over here, we'll just pop that down one so we're getting up half a percent. And let's build that crop rotation. For Lana, let's build the public baths. Tricker over here. Again, not so useful as a settlement, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, Ayana in the center. Let's go for the public bass too. Uh, same thing for Argos Arresticon. Trying to get some more population growth in these regions, guys. Absolutely the best thing to do, I think, at this point. Uh, potentially markets as well. Uh, well, what was that? Was that on low? No, we'll go down to low so we're not losing population. Uh, and then a Canthos up here. I think a Canthos could do with some paved roads, to be fair. It's got good growth at the minute. Marina as well out here. Not useful at all. We'll leave that. Same thing for Imbros. Pretty useless. Uh, Hiskana over this way. Hiskana. Yeah, definitely worth getting the roads there. The Royal Road is doing very well, my friends. Very well indeed. We'll go for public baths in there. Same. Oh, Same's just upgraded to a large town, so let's get the trader. Nysos, a little bit unhappy. So, let's just pop in the shrine to Dionysus. Same, Burger's actually a little bit unhappy as well. We probably will have to change that. So, Burger, I think you can do with a road as well, because that's an area that we will traverse quite a bit. And then let's get the shrine to Di uh, Dionysus. Sorry, Aphrodite in Cirrus up here, and then I think we're pretty much done. Is that a Dioscuri? Yeah, it is. Probably not worth it. Lots of places that might get a little bit upset soon, so let's just pop them down so we don't need to, you know, rebuild buildings if they do get upset. Same... Oh, yeah, obviously these two are, are incredibly upset, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> and then Megalopolis, let's go for the Shrine to Aphrodite as well. So, decent amount of money spent there and nearly building everywhere, which is fantastic. So, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's get going. And as we thought, the Seleucids have declared war on us. God damn bastards, my friend. Absolute bastards. Really, Seleucids? Really? Like, so pointless, man. So pointless. Well, the Elians have sallied out of one of their last settlements, of course, Ellis. So uh, let's fight this battle, guys. Should be an easy victory and nice and quick. Well, it's going pretty well so far. We've absolutely ruined that archer unit. And in fact, what I'm gonna, probably going to do is just follow that archer unit in through the city and just take the city that way because... Yeah, I mean, actually, we just need to break this Ephebes, actually, don't we? We don't need to do anything else. So, let's break the Ephebes, which should be nice and easy. There we go. Come on, guys. Surely we can absolutely shred these Ephebes with these mercenary hoplites. Come on. The Ephebes are a trash unit, so we should not be losing so many men to them. Come on, guys. Let's go. Here come the archers again. They're pretty scared, but uh, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Once the Ephebes run, the archers will run too. Go, 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 go. 
There we go. That should break them, to be fair. There we go. Nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. And a glorious victory. I think Ellis is one that we want to enslave at as well, because it's pretty unhappy right now. That should make it at least happy enough. The Maidy? Oh, the Maidy are still spying on us, so I wonder if they will attack us relatively soon. Yep. Right now. <laughs> so we definitely need both of those armies up in the north. Ah, the north is just a quagmire. Like, the north is just so pointless. Like, we don't need anything. Like, that land in the north is so poor and so useless. Like, there's no point fighting. Like, look at the amount of Seleucid armies we're going to have to fight for literally this shit land here. Like, that's far away from our capital that also puts us bordering more factions that we don't want to have to fight as well. Um, I mean, it's just it's just a never-ending battle up here in the north, isn't it? And I don't think it's going to end anytime soon either. That is the main problem. The thing is here, though... Yeah, no, this is not a good army. So I was going to say, could we defeat that Seleucid army? I mean, potentially, potentially not. We shall see. Um... So you guys get out. You guys get in. Uh, the thing is, the Maidy are not going to uh, not going to be attacking us anytime. Not going to be uh, sieging us down anytime soon. We've got a, an okay garrison there, and they just have some cavalry. So I don't think we need to worry about that at all. The Seleucids, though, on the other hand, yeah, they they are something to worry about. <laughs> Let's also try maybe to replace some of these Greek hoplites with Ambrachios as we go forward. Now we have the Thurio Foroi, so let's get the Thurio Foroi in there. You guys in there too. And now we just need two Athamanians, which they can come and join us. And the other Athamanian can join the army now. You guys get in there. There we go. Let's auto sort these guys too. Fantastic. And you can go and deal with them. Uh, I Pyzion the Ugly. Your first battle, my friend. Your first battle. We had a bit of a. Uh, bit of upsetness should be done next turn and also they won't uh, revolt again this is just unrest unfortunately so let's keep going with let's go with the temple of aphrodite there uh, and then we got agent found the antigonids in philippoi you don't need to be looking up there anymore man you don't have any settlements there you fucking idiots uh, seleucids attacking us the Medi attacking us the antigonids attacking sparta interesting which is our ally and a few broken alliances, Adrissians and Epirus and the Chrysaurians. Why? Did they they sided with the Seleucids probably over us? Uh, but that's fine. And faction announcement, nothing too interesting there. Wow! Look at the amount of roads that got done there, guys. That's insane. All up through the north here, so we can see if do do we have a look like Ambracia? It would be nice if we could take Stratos at some point, and also. Uh, Agithea, so we can build roads through here as well. But you can see we've got paved roads all the way up to here, all the way up here. This is a little bit broken with the paved roads, but it will be coming soon. And then through this way, we've got paved roads all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. And then again, it's Bylazora that breaks it up. So very nice. The Royal Road is doing very well. Bylazora now has the third tier of recruitment, so we can actually get some decent. Thracian units if we build up. What do we need for the Rumphi 4? A third tier barracks. Okay. Well, we'll start going with the barracks then to start getting Rumphi 4. Right? And then one of the other settlements will get stables. I don't think we really need to bother too much about... Yeah, that's getting third tier too. Hmm. Like the missile troops? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about them too much. Like... Agrianian archers, are they any good? I mean, they're decent. They're the best archers we would have available to us. The Thracian archers, yeah. That, I mean, they're better than they're better than what we have to offer. So yeah, we can go for missile troops in one of them as well. But it's more it's more interesting getting the Thracian cavalry and all that sort of shebang. Right. Where be our armies? We were just seeing what we can do here. We're going to take out Ellis. I think we can potentially auto-resolve this. Let's go 126. Not bad at all. That should be Ellis dead. So let's enslave Tegea. There we go. Very nice. Now we need a garrison troop, which could do with that guy. Let's have a look then. Let's just pop down here to make sure. Oh, come on, man. Come on. 
Should be dead. Ah, you bastard! You fucking bastard! Fuck! That is so annoying. <laughs> oh, dear me. Dear me. Let's destroy that anyway. Let's destroy that. And this is a terrible, terrible settlement. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's build uh, the communal farming. That's probably the best option there. So we do have two armies. This one is good enough to keep on going. And this one I'm probably going to send back for retraining and also to get two more 304. Unless we've got any good mercenaries. No, we've got Cretan archers, which are... You know what? I'll take the Cretan archers. They are a very, very useful unit. So, yeah, we'll take those. So we only need one 304 right now, really, to fit into this army. Massive experience in Alexander's army. Been around the block quite a bit, hasn't it? So, yeah, very nice. Let's put you down to low. And now we've got all our new ships, so we can actually ferry troops relatively safely, too. Which is glorious. Rather than a large navy. Very nice, indeed. We've not got any, like, strong ships, but we don't need any uh, really strong ships at all. I think that's going to be good enough for what we have to offer here. So if we go and attack them, killed them. Let's also kill these guys. Yeah, there we go. They did sink five of our ships there, which is a bit insane. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's also uh, yeah, retrain these boys. There we go. Glorious. Now, what do we do with you? That's the question. Let's destroy these armies first, these little armies. I think I think it's taking out the uh, the megalopolopolopatoons, uh, megalopolises, the mega megalopopolis is is is. Yeah, we'll take out them. Let's just check what their diplomatic standing is. What is their? I think they'll be right near the bottom, right? Because they are emergent. That's it, it right? Yeah, megalopolis. Yeah, they're allied with the GCS, so that's okay. And yeah, let's let's just go for it. No point waiting, is there? Let's go for the attack there. What they'll probably do is what we've seen many times before, is they'll go and siege down something else rather than actually looking at what they can do. Oh, God damn. Athens just has to be an absolute bastard the whole time, doesn't it? You can't just be normal, Athens, can you? You just can't be normal. You fucking idiots. <laughs> Why do you have to stand there and block me coming across the fucking strait? You absolute fucking idiots. Oh my god. I hate you, Athens. You are an absolute shit heel on a pile of shit. You are the shittest little nation. Fuck off, honestly. I'm tempted to even say that Sparta's better than you. And Sparta is fucking embarrassing. Fuck off, stupid fucks. I fucking hate them. Fucking hell. What what is the point of Athens? Why are you why do you have your armies just spread out everywhere? Fucking do something. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Fucking use them to do something, you fucking idiots. Jesus Christ. What are they doing? Fucking AI. Jesus Christ. Fucking stupid, man. Why? <laughs> They're so dumb. Why are they doing this? Oh, god damn. God damn. I bet you weren't expecting that. Bet you weren't expecting that, guys. <laughs> right, let's carry on uh, training a few more troopies. We've got an actual relatively decent amount of troops again. Uh, yeah, we've probably got enough for an army here. Apart from missile troops, which we need some more of. Uh, yeah, we've probably got enough for nearly another army. What would you do with that army, though? Probably... Fighting south. Ah, the Idrissians have now taken Sir Dicker, which is good. Looks like the Idrissians are going to attack us as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, the north is just a constant just mess. <laughs> Watch the Scordisky attackers next as well. Like, we have to commit so many troops for nothing. Like, we've got to commit a load of troops to take land that is so useless. So... Do we just leave, like, one defensive army up here? I mean, and then just focus down south? I mean, we are focusing quite hard down south, so, yeah, there's not much not much else I can say about that, really. Uh, right, let's uh, let's build some more stuff, then. Let's go for... Pasaran's actually got a bit of population growth for once. Let's keep that going with an aqueduct. The aqueduct's very expensive, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. Korkira over here. Hmm, Korkira. 
Korkira does have the ability to train, but it's an island, so what's the point? Is it an island, though? No, it's not. It can actually move across. So maybe it's worth getting some more training in Korkira. I mean, trade would be better. But yeah, let, let's leave Korkira for now. There's not really anything there that's that useful to us. I think Agora in Dodona would be good, but let's go for the grain imports instead so we can actually go to, well, neutral growth. Let's go for grain imports there. Pella, definitely something we want to keep an eye on. I think Blacksmith would be the option here. Or the shrine to Dioscuri. What's the shrine that they have here? Artemis, which is missile weapons. Well, I don't think we need that. Let's go for the shrine to Dioscuri then. Very nice. Let's keep on getting that. That'll be good. Uh, Thessalonica 2 needs to continuously upgrade because it is a decent city. Let's go for those grain imports then. Demale over here is a little bit upset. So I think we go for the execution square. Uh, Lycnidos doesn't have any general in or anything like that. So again, let's leave that. That's no problem. Oinidai, let's leave that. Uh, Imbros, yeah, those ones are pretty useless. Dardanicon, Foricon up there, pretty useless too. Uh, Cassandrea, again, not much that's worth building. I think, honestly, there's not much worth building anywhere, really. So let's just end the turn there. And let's see what we can do against these goddamn Seleucid fools. Well, Rome is here asking for a ceasefire. That's absolutely fantastic. They've got a few enemies, like the Allobroges and Syracuse, but not many allies. So I wonder, would you be interested? No, apparently not. We'll trade, though. We'll trade with you. Fantastic. Well, uh, it is weird that the Seleucids have gone after uh, Cyrus rather than either of these three settlements. Very strange, but it's fine. Um, and again, their army doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look awful, but it does not look amazing either. So we will attack them. Let's see what they've got. Show me what you got. Lots of crisis speeders, which are not that good as a unit. Pisidian javelin men. A lot of missile troops, to be fair. But uh, we'll uh, just uh, go back from that. And Ifestionas, your job probably should have actually used Ifestionas in that battle. Because if it's a bridge battle, that'll be a little bit annoying. Right, let's go through Skaptotora. The Idrisians are definitely massing. I, I think... What is this army, man? <gasps> Thracian Light Lancers for days! This is why we need to get our own Thracian units and soldiers if we are going to fight the Thracians for an extended period of time. Wow, that's uh, that's suddenly become quite unhappy. Let's uh, repair that then. Uh, where are we? Civil Disorder. Delphoi, again, very, very unhappy. They may revolt soon, and I don't mind that, to be fair, because... Yeah, let's go for the Shrine to Aphrodite here. I don't mind that at all. Uh, but yeah... Um, I don't mind Delphoi revolting because it will just be a buffer state between, you know, the GCS, the Antigonids, the Boeotians here, and we'll just have to fight them through uh, the center here rather than anything else. Uh, Demale, ooh, Demale pretty darn upset. So let's repair all of that. There we go. Uh, and we are building the execution square there anyway, so that's fine. Um, I mean, we could try and just scare off the Seleucids by standing there. Uh, there we go. I Geon built that. So let's keep on going. Level 2. It's only a large... <gasps> yeah, we have ruined I Geon for quite some time, haven't we, my friends? Wow. I didn't realize it was that bad. Now we've got some Thurioforoi to go in this army, right? Yes. So let's go down to the port. Let's pop these guys in the boats. And let's get off there. And we can actually go straight into the city. Good, 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 good. Fantastic. Let's pop in there. Let's make sure that we aren't wasting time with the retraining here. So go in there. Go in there. And go in there. Uh, you guys go in there. And you can go into that one as well. You guys into that one. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about everything we can do there. So, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. 
Um, we need a Thurio 4. We have a Thurio 4, right? So let's go straight in there with them. They should also be able to retrain if I get rid of that. Let's retrain them. The armor on the Thurio 4 is more important than it on anyone else. So let's do that. You guys are following one of these armies. I think it's this one here, isn't it? So let's go for that one. So in the north, yeah, I think like... You know, we're, we're handling everything. It's just a little bit annoying what we have to keep doing here. Uh, fighting that is not going to be too bad. They've got a pretty decent army there as well. Uh, but yeah, I think the thing we want to do right now is go after the army in uh, the Seleucid army. And then we'll probably end the episode there, guys. So I'm hoping this is not a river crossing. But wait. First of all, though, let's see if we've got any archers available. We've got Thracian Hippocontistae. I really don't think that's that useful. D they do have some Progemoy, though. So we might as well get one. Let's uh, let's pop them in. Although, yeah, getting light infantry is not going to be that good. So let's go for that. And let's go and let's see the first battle against the Seleucids and the first battle of Ipaizion the Ugly. Let's go. And what a glorious battle map for us. Really flat. Obviously, we're going up a hill, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. I thought it might have been a uh, a bridge battle, but that's fine. It's actually better it not being a bridge battle. We'll get these guys there. We're going to take a lot of damage, I think, from javelins, all that sort of thing. Um, but it's okay. I mean, we're going to do some absolute serious damage with our cavalry. So, again, we don't need to worry too much. Get those guys there. We'll group you guys. And then we'll have the Hippocontistae ready to do whatever. Here we go. Look at their formation as well. Like, what is that formation, bro? We'll run. We might as well run. Uh, try and close them down slightly. In fact, we'll only go to here. Just to be safe. There we go. Let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep coming. There we go. Get in position. And then we're just going to march forward. They've got a load of uh, their own... Uh, their own phalangites. But I don't know what they're doing with the rest of their troops. Like, why are they just chilling there? Seems to be a bit weird and pointless. Because they is those are all, like, like skirmisher troops. So, I don't know. What's this on this side? That's Thurio 4 cavalry. So, we'll come this way. Right then, guys. Scare them all off. Scare them off. What do we have here? Right. Phalanx down, guys. Phalanx down. Why do you stop when I do that? Just move forward slightly. There we go. That's better. Here comes the general. He's going to go for the charge. I don't know why they've not got their uh, their troops in there right now. That's very strange. Like, come on. Bring your goddamn Chalka Speedes in. Oh, my God. Those poor Greek Peltasts. There we go. General's running already. I think this should serve as a good warning to these fools. That uh, if they want to deal with us... They're going to get absolutely savaged in the process. What is that? That's a Zista 4. Yeah, we'll run away from a Zista 4 all day firing Javis at them. Just do what the enemy does, the AI does, <laughs> half the time. So, yeah, I don't mind standing here tanking a few shots, all that sort of thing. Here comes more Zista 4. I mean, are they dumb? Like, what are they doing, bro? Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, there we go. And what is that? More, oh, Alexandros. That's a different general's bodyguard. You guys get him. We should absolutely shred these guys. Zistaphoria, no match for Thessalians, as we found out ourselves. And Thessalians are pretty much as good as general's bodyguards. <laughs> Just a lot, lot bigger units. So, uh, yeah, we should absolutely ruin these fuckers. Let's go. Ha! Ah, look at the Hippocontistai go. Here comes the uh, there at Crisis Speedes. Which is good for us. That's what we wanted to do. Kill Alexandros, please. That would be good. There he goes. He dies. 304 a cavalry. I want you guys to deal with them. I want you guys to come forward. You guys can stay here for now. In fact, no. Stick in a really fat formation. That'll be better. There we go. Let's kill them. And then what we'll do is try and get behind them with the rest of our troops. Uh, and what I might do is try and flank with the Athamanians too, because we've got to remember the Athamanians are not awful in melee. They're not they're not fantastic, but they're not awful in melee. Right, you guys then, we're going to have to start coming forward. Oh, here goes the Tarantines. You guys attack them then. 
And you three, let's keep coming then. And yeah, we might be able to just break those crisis speeders pretty quickly. Let's have a seat. You guys, I want you to come forward. Affermanians, come all the way around this way. Generals, bodyguards, are they withdrawing? No. Well, let's get into those guys. Okay. I didn't realize the general had come back. I thought he was rou routing. So, yeah, that's good for us. I keep looking at the Seleucids and thinking that they're my troops. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, the, how much uh, Seleucid stuff we, we have done in the past, of course. You guys get through them. Affermanians, let's get round the back. I don't want to have to deal with those crisis speeders with our cavalry right here. So let's come over this way. There we go. Come on, boys. The poor Thuria of Thora are going to get absolutely shredded again. But uh, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? We knew that was going to happen. So what have we got going on over here? Let's fight them. Uh, and you guys just keep coming forwards. In fact, no. You guys go and attack them. In fact, you, both of you do. You guys just keep coming forward. And um, we're just going to go and destroy whatever units there are here. Thurio 4 are getting savaged. Who's getting savaged here? You are. Weird, because we're fully surrounding that unit. Halt. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, it's fine. There we go. This should be a very nice little sandwich here. Very tasty little morsel of a sandwich. Right, we're going to have to start spreading the cavalry up. Thracian Hippocontisti. Let's go get rid of them. I don't mind if we lose the Hippocontisti, like I said. You guys can deal with those guys. You chase them down. And everyone but you, let's go after those Greek Slingers. Or at least come through this way. Uh, yeah, fully surrounding the Crisis Speeders. Should be a pretty easy victory here. Let's go. Come on, guys. I think this serves as a good warning for these fools. Go. I don't think we'll win against the Zista Foray. Well, we shouldn't win against the Zista Foray. So, it'll be fine. All right, keep coming through then, guys. Keep coming through. Don't want to have to fight the, that, that Crisis Speeders. There we go. Ah, oh, our uh, Akonanians. Uh, sorry, our Phalangites are dead. You guys go and deal with them. You guys go and deal with them. And then we've got three units here. Don't know what to do with. Probably come through this way. And then we'll charge that Crisis Speeders in the back. Yeah, is this the 4 eight doing a decent job? In fact, you guys go and kill them. Should be nice and easy. Should be nice and easy. We shall see. Come on, guys. Kill the Crisis Speeders. How are we doing up here? Come on. Let's attack. Go, go, go. Go, guys. Ah, oh, you, uh, you might have been attacked by Tarantines. I didn't even notice them. They were like camouflage. <laughs> Uh, you guys, let's go through that way. Go kill them. Go kill them. Come on, guys. Let's go. Fighting enemy phalanx is just so, so difficult. We've taken a rather... We're well, not taking a horrendous amount of damage, to be fair. But a decent amount. These guys are getting absolutely shredded. I don't know why they're getting so shredded. The crisis speeders have lost, like, no men. They're on guard mode and have phalanx down. How did this happen, bro? Like, how did you guys lose so badly to the Crisis Speeders? Let's just pause for a second. Look at the Ambrachio. 17, 18, 36. 15, 21, 36 for these guys. So, same defense. And three more attack. Obviously, on very hard, that's plus a load more. But they still should have killed more than two men. Three men. Three whole men, guys. That is goddamn shocking, bro. Shocking. That should ruin them, though. Yeah, there we go. Guys, are you going to charge as well? Because that would be quite helpful. What are they doing, man? They're just jogging. They've not turned around, which should be good. There we go. We've broken them. Good, 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 good. Keep that up. There we go. Is that enough? They're wavering. They're wavering. They're shaken. Right, not stirred. Let's just go. Let's leave them for a second. And what we need to do is get these guys here to go and attack them. There we go. Are they fighting to the death or something here? Right, no. You guys, let's get you over this way. Go, 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 go. Well, a glorious victory anyway, guys. Very nice indeed. Uh, and I think we will have fully destroyed that army. Yep, definitely. Uh, in fact, get there, guys. Get there. And anything else? Anything left? I don't 
think so. Well, you are just chilling as well. How many did we lose? We didn't lose many Thessalians. That's the main thing. A couple of units of the Athamanians got absolutely... Uh, sorry. Uh, and Brachio Phalangites got ruined. But apart from that, pretty darn good victory. Like, we didn't lose any really high-value troops. Um, we, uh, you know, killed a lot of, a lot of troops. There we go. Let's, uh, let's end the battle there, because I don't think... Yeah, they've got less than that. And we did kill both the generals. Glorious victory. The Thessalians doing a lot of heavy lifting there. The Ambrakios. Look at this one. That was the one that was, like, down to 30 in the Crisis Bides were down to, like, nothing. Like, how did you lose so badly, bro? <laughs> That's so weird. But, yeah, this one as well, 106 and 15. But the rest of them doing well, so... I don't know. Some of them just seemed to do awful, and some did well. But, anyway, <laughs> glorious victory, my friends. Let's get back on the campaign map. There we go. And, hopefully, I, uh... What's he called? I Pisy on the Ugly. Hopefully, he has now got a decent amount of... Um, experience. He's got up to level... He's got up to four. So I'm assuming he's got now blooded. There we go. Blooded. So that's good. He's commanded a general for the first time. He still scares small children, though. Um, interested in war. There we go. Noble family. Satisfied. This man is satisfied with the current state of affairs and aura. overall seems proud to serve. Fantastic. Very nice. Good. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to combine a few of these troops and see if we can uh, send a few back for retraining. This is why you want kind of two armies. Uh, in Yeah, we'll take the Athamanians. We'll take the those guys. So these got two generals, should I say, in each of your armies. I think we'll just take those guys back to Pella. Can they reach? They can't. Oof. 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 Well... Can we reach, though? That's the question. We can reach with the cavalry, so that's going to be fine. Let's do that. And Whoa, someone's got gold gold in there. Oh, no. It's just it's just <laughs> unit cards. I thought someone had, like, gold armor in there. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, it looks like... Oh, my God. They've got Hetai Roy already. I mean, those will be a match for our Thessalians. Well, Seleucids, that seems relatively early for them to have Hetai Roy. I'm not going to lie. About 85, 90 turns. But yeah, okay, that's fine. Because I'm sure the reforms where you get them, or can you get them right from the start? I don't know. I can't remember. So what do we have? We got that Megalopolis. Well, we'll do that next turn. So next episode. So I think we're going to end there, guys. So if you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching to all of you. And I will see you all again on the next video.